So today I'm going to show how to write unit test for the private and protected method in C# and in .NET Core. So as you know, most of the people write unit test for the public method, not for the private method, private and public. So uh, today I'm going to show how to write unit test for the uh, private and protected method in more efficient way and with the very less code changes. Now let's begin. As you can see, there are two project, two uh, libraries in my uh, already set up. So first one is a contact service, other one for the contact service test. This is actual test uh, library. And um, basically I import uh, uh, packages as XUnit. So you need to uh, install uh, XUnit. Currently I'm using Rider. So if you use, it doesn't matter whatever the ID you're using. If you're using Visual Studio, just install um, XUnit uh, uh, in the NuGet package or VS Code, you can use uh, uh, alternative as you can use VS Code. And uh, the next one is a project. So currently I do have a test project uh, as uh, the reference. We do have a reference at the customer contact service reference in the test method, test, test project. Right. Let's begin. Okay. So, so this is a class uh, uh, we are going to write test. So we do have a customer services and uh, it has a, a few methods. Some are public, protected and private, of course. Like a base of based on the the criticality, uh, how much data we expose, we can make the use access modifier, which is the public, protected, and private. Right. Let's try the first unit case. Uh, okay, I'll copy the name so we don't need to. Uh, yeah, we add in a new class. So test. Test. And objects. Okay. So we got the test class and uh, what we're gonna write, uh, I'll get into right side so we can see what we are gonna write in and for uh, which task we're gonna write the test. Uh, I've got the predefined code so we don't need to write uh, uh, lots of stuff. So I'll copy the code and, and then I'll, I'll walk to uh, customer service. And uh, I got the one test for the public. So as you can see, I got the X unit and uh, I got a, a, a object object from the customer service class and I, I then I, I can call the particular method, whatever method available in the customer service. You can see I have a customer service and I'm calling get customer name. So customer name is obvious, it's a public method you can access. So if I run this, you can see it, it, uh, it should pass. The next, yeah, it, it's passing. So either you can use this little uh, tick mark, and as you run, so you can see it's a passing. You can see. The second, uh, the actual, the issue is uh, well, we are going to write the test for the protected method. Right. As you can see, I, I'm read, I'm creating a object on the custom service. I'm trying to access get customer address, which is protected. Method. But you can't see the pr protective method. If you see, if I say, let you okay, so if I do that, you can get a compiler because it says, um, if I hover, it cannot access protected method from here. So that's the actual issue. So let's try how to write the unit test for this protected method first. There are a couple of ways we can write unit test for the protected method. I'll, I'll show you one method uh, first and then. I'm copying the same class, so you can keep reference for the keep the original one as it is. So done. I'm changing the two, and the class needs to be changing the two. Right. So the one way is writing the unit test for the protector method is using inherent. We can use C sharp inherent feature to write a unit test for the protector method. So what we're going to do, we create a wrapper class. Let's create a wrapper class uh, for the original class, which is contact service class. Uh, I get the copy, of the, I copy the name, and uh, let's say wrapper, and I'm inheriting customer service. 
then I get the constructor, not necessarily get the constructor, but it's not right. Then what we're gonna do, we write a, a, a method, new method, which is exact same customer address. So I have to get copy, I'll, I'll write in public, it's a string, get, I'll copy the address, the signature. We can tell, yeah, can tell. Actually, we are calling act the original method on the customer in the base class return base dot get customer address. So once it's done, you can see uh, we will get the some kind of warning with the wiggle line. It says you need to use new keyword, otherwise you are you hide the actual base class method. So what we're gonna do is use new. This is something you, this is only thing you need to do for the right test for the product window. So once you write this wrapper class, we can, we are writing test for the wrapper, but it's indirectly referring the, the base class. So I'll show you how to do. So we're gonna change this into here, just wrapping it. We can keep the a variable because it's still we are writing the test for the service class. And now if I come to here, I say get customer, Yes, it's available. Okay. So, what's gonna do? It's 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 calling the wrapper get custom address from the wrapper class, and within that, it's calling the actual method in the re the customer service, which is gonna call this method. Okay. Let's try. Okay, let's assert uh, what we're gonna do. I'll copy the class. I do have a calling. I say asset equal once you call the get customer address we should get this return now let's try the second one so in the second class we do have two methods let's run two methods as you can see it get the uh, result so if I change it to learn to make sure it's, it's working Here, yes, you will get that it's, it's expected a 10, but we got 11. So that means the test is working perfectly. So, right, okay, let's see how we can we write a test for the uh, private method in over here. Let's copy and we, let's say we go have a cop private method is get customer uh, is birthday. Let's say customer birthday. the name so uh, make sure like uh, let's say we when it gets custom birthday you should return the birthday right let's say we try to get customer uh, birthday right it doesn't allow let's try to add in the wrapper class right. if you go to wrapper class we can right. get customer let's try to do the same thing over here get customer birthday so you can see, still you can't access private method even for the child e with the inheritance. So that's the issue with the uh, private class. Okay. So we can't use inheritance for the writing test for the uh, private window. Okay. Right. So let's keep it. Okay, uh, let's find another way to write test for the private method. So there's another way in the uh, C sharp. What we have, uh, we call reflection. We can use a reflection to write the unit test for the private method. Uh, oh, of course, we can use that same mechanism, reflection for the testing public method, protected method too. Copy the same class, make it as a tree. All right, and uh, tree, and this is tree. So we know we can't. We, it's not gonna work. Wrapper class. We will remove this. And this is I mean a test tree. Right. So now it's it start. Okay. We don't need this. And uh, it's not gonna work because the it's not the. Uh, 
we'll come to here so we will be right to test using reflection for the, the protector and the pricing meter so, so sometimes you know uh, reflection is basically happening in the dynamically i do have a, a, a this can be using uh, different uh, different different uh, test like classes so so what we can do we can create a one base class and we can use that base class to easily use easily test the private method so i'm creating a base class and which is a test base let's say call test base and i'll have a call class copy so i'll, I'll copy and then uh, i'll go to you can see uh, i'll get the all the reference the usage so it's missing and uh, method and you can see it, it's all right it's a uh, it's just a question so what's going to happen I'll, I'll go through the this uh, test method what's going to do we do have a one method which is static and the static class uh, it is a extension method so it's it's you can call on the uh, any object and we are passing the particular na method name and we can send some parameter so what's going to do we get the instance the type of the uh, the given instance let's say if you send a customer service uh, customer service class it's get the instance type of the this instance and uh, and then it's finding the it gets some attribute basically it's checking uh, the we finding of course the non public and the um, the not the static uh, uh, instance like basically we are getting uh, some private and protected method so over here line number 15 what you can do based on the particular type we are getting get method we have get all the method not all the method of course the method is passing to the to to the this the function the, the this method so finally it is uh, it's invoke particular method so you can see it's a method it get the method and it work with the particular instance and the particular, particular parameter so once you got the code you will see how how actually this is working so let's go to the tree and let's start with the private method so I'll, I'll copy the code again so we do have a custom method what we're gonna do uh, copy this and of course this is the date time I'm getting some reference so you can see what we're gonna do I'm calling the test base which is the uh, this class I'll, I'll get the over here so we can see uh, perfectly so what it's gonna do so I'm calling the test base class on this method and uh, we are expecting what the return type basically we return type for the customer if you call the guest customer birthday which is uh, this method I'm going to test this method basically return type is a date time and it doesn't accept any parameter so basically that the method name is this and return time is date time so what we're going to do we call this method with the return type what we're expecting and uh, this is actual instance we are uh, interesting and uh, get custom method which is the actual method we are uh, we are after we are going to test and once it run we are expecting result you can see uh, uh, actual method it's returning uh, the birthday as a uh, less minus 20 years basically if you run today it's, it's returning uh, today minus 20 years so uh, let's run this method let's run so we do have third let's run cool it, it's working so basically it, it's calling the get custom method and it's returning the result so if you want to result so we can we can we can debug if you see uh, the this is the one that we are after the custom birthday if i debug this code um, so we can debug over here over here it doesn't matter so let us run it learn. okay so once you get the expert you can see the expected result it's getting the actual uh, we are running in 20 22 
but it's to gender 2020 uh, sorry 20 uh, 2002 which is the less than 20 years like it, it's worked perfectly so you can call the prior method and uh, you can get the result so same way if you want to write uh, if you want to call the protected method so it, it does work the same way basically over here what we're going to do we call this still the same base test base method and we are sending the instant virtual each instant but the return type if you call the get customer address you are getting the return time as the string right so uh, if you run again let's try and again uh, let's build it uh, seems like it says get stuck we don't need this Something happened, something glitched. Okay, I'll run this stuff and, okay, and again. Right, everything is passed basically customer address, customer birthday, customer name. This is public, this is the private method, this is the product method. So it, it's working. Right, so how do we then, let's say you have a private method huh, and which accepting parameter. How do you test that kind of scenario? That's why I get a, a method, the simple uh, method, get customer greeting. It's sending it's a private method it's accepting parameter and uh, it does some work and returning something right it's returning string so i'll get the copy so basically okay we have to do the same thing and uh, so let's say guest customer string should return customer uh, greeting so let's say you are sending the customer name some name and uh, this is how you call the same test based method with the parameter let's say you are expecting a string and you are this is the method name and this is parameter you are passing right. so if we go to the customer service it says it's return type is string and uh, it's accepting a string and returning a string right. so if you run this again this is a name and run this It's everything is passed. You can test the uh, all the test method. If you let's say if you change the name to hello two, uh, you can see it's it's failing the the lab because it's it's written for example it's Sam, but the, it's actually hello two Sam. So that's pretty much uh, the today lesson. So how to write private and the test for the unit test for the private and the protector method. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like if you like, uh, just like it. And thanks. I'll 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 see you on another uh, tutorial. Thank you so much.